It should go without saying that this video contains mild spoilers. Tear into However, we'll keep the spoilers to an absolute minimum as to not spoil unnecessary things. The item we're going to talk about in this video is one of a kind, and you have one chance to get it. So, if you miss it, you miss out. The missable item is called the Sprite's Bracelet, formerly known as Mischief in the original game. When equipped, it periodically rewards us with free items as we play. The items that drop range from fairly useful to incredibly rare. One of the best drops is the counterfeit metal. When used, they increase your current experience points to 1 XP from the next level. So for example, I currently need this much XP to level up. But after using a counterfeit metal, my required XP to level is now 1. Obviously, these items are incredibly powerful, especially at higher levels when the XP required to level skyrockets. The Sprite's bracelet can be pickpocketed from Philia, an NPC in the port town of Click. The issue is that she's only in Click for a short period of time, and once she's gone, so is our window of opportunity. To pickpocket Philia, we're going to need the talent Nimble Fingers, as stealing it without it is next to impossible. Believe me, I speak from experience. In the original version of Star Ocean 2, the Nimble Fingers talent could only be learned later in the game after our window of opportunity to steal Philia's item had closed. But that's all changed in the remake, so I'll go over both the original method and the new method of obtaining Nimble Fingers. If you've already started playing, then fire up your game and head into the status menu. Tap square, and with some luck, you already have the talent unlocked. If you have it unlocked, then congratulations. Otherwise, you're probably wondering if it's worth restarting your file. Now that we're able to skip cutscenes, if you're in your first few hours of gameplay, then I'd say yes. Otherwise, this method will come in handy on your alternate playthrough. If you already have Nimble Fingers unlocked, then you can skip this chapter of the video. Otherwise, let's take a look at how to unlock it. Start a new game and skip each cutscene by tapping the Start button. Protect Rena from the Gark, then leave the forest while skipping the cutscenes along the way. This whole process takes less than two minutes, and once outside, you can open your status menu once again to check for Nimble Fingers. If you want to save yourself a lot of grinding later on, then you could reset a few more times aiming for a start with Nimble Fingers and as little of the other talents as possible. To clarify what I mean, Nimble Fingers and no other talents at all would be the best possible outcome. This is because the other talents are very easy to unlock later on, and for each talent you unlock manually, you're rewarded with 100 SP, which is huge. Of course, this is completely optional though, and Nimble Fingers is the main target here. We're going to level up some skills in a moment. Make sure you level up the skill Determination first and foremost, as this skill lowers the SP required for every other skill. It's always the skill you want to focus on when you first start out. All right, on to method two. We can learn Nimble Fingers via crafting. So head to any general store and buy up a stack of iron or silver. Put a level or two into mineralogy, eye for detail, and aesthetics, then save your game. Now just craft some items, and it shouldn't be long before the talent unlocks. If you run out of items, just reload your save file and try again. Okay, so you have the nimblest of fingers. What now? Now we're going to go grab a shiny new glove for them. Travel over to Harley and pick up the bandit's glove for 40,000 full from the item shop up the stairs. I know 40k sounds like a lot, but leveling up the skill Purity will grant us a ton of money instantly. Maxing it out will give you around 100,000 full, so just level it up till you have your 40k. Or... If you'd prefer to save your hard-earned skill points, you can earn 40k in around 20 to 30 minutes catching fish and selling them at the store. With the glove in our possession, we have one final step to go. Level up the skills Courage and Poker Face to level 4 or higher. Then we're ready to go robbing! We're taking on the YouTube algorithm, and if you'd like to join us, we'd love to have you aboard. Okay, back to the video. Philia is by the fountain in the port town of Click, which is on the east coast of the continent of Cross. Be 100% sure to save your game before entering town as you only get one chance at this. To make Philia appear, tap square to enter a private action, then head over to the fountain. If you've not already done it, you'll also have to enable pickpocketing, which can be done on the specialty page under IC Specialty. Okay, it's time to put your new skills to use. If you fail, reload your file and try again. Okay, let's do this. Congratulations! You've just stolen one of the rarest items in the game. I'd advise pickpocketing everyone in this town now as you might not get another chance. Okay, you're now free to go rob every person you've ever met, including your own party members. During private actions, you can pickpocket your own allies, and as the game progresses, your party members will have fresh items for you to pilfer. And some of them are pretty rare. 